Entering a wrong passcode into your iPhone can lead your iPhone to be disabled. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the iPhone disabled connect to iTunes issue. Welcome back to MouthStev. If you're finding me for the very first time and this is your first time visiting this channel, make sure to subscribe and click on that bell to make sure you don't miss any new video that I put out. Yay! So this issue of iPhone disabled appears when you try to enter wrong passcodes so many times and this happens in increments. The more you keep on trying, it's gonna you know, keep on extending how many minutes you have to wait until you your next attempt. When all the attempts are done, it's gonna disable the iPhone. Now, unfortunately for most people, this happens when they have their phones in their pockets or something, or a kid plays with it. They try to enter multiple codes and just disables it. The thing is, it's an easy fix. The only catch with this is that you have to have the device backed up. If you haven't backed up the device yet, then this is gonna be difficult for you because you're gonna have to lose all the data. So I'm not gonna go through, I'm not going to spend time on talking about backing up because I made a really good video on how to back up. So make sure you check that out. And I also put the link in the description. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use a method that's most commonly used is using iTunes. So we're gonna turn off this device and put it in recovery mode. Now, if you don't know how to do recovery mode, it's very simple. I made a video on different iPhones and how to enter into recovery mode. If you're using an iPhone that has Touch ID, it's very simple. Just make sure you hold the home button and plug in the cable while still holding that home button. Make sure the cable is actually connected to the computer already. So once you connect, you just keep on holding until you see the recovery screen. Now, if you're using a different version of iPhone that doesn't have Touch ID or a home button, make sure you check out this video that I did that will show you how to do, how to get into recovery mode. So once you get into recovery mode, the next thing we need to do is go to our PC or Mac and make sure you, if you're using PC, you have iTunes set up. If you're using Mac, you'll be using Finder, which is already in pre-installed in the OS you're using. So. This is what it will look like when you connect the iPhone in recovery mode to your Mac or PC. So the next thing we have to do here is restore. Now, I'm not going to go through this because I've already done videos on this. If you don't know how to restore, just click right here to check out that video. Once you're done, the other thing, the next step would be to re restore your backup on your device. So this is why it's very important that you have your device backed up. In this case, I have mine already backed up so I can restore my backup uh, and have my device running just like it was previously. Depending on how you backed up, if you're using iCloud, or if you use your computer to back up, you can restore your backup in any way from, if you don't know how to back up, please make sure you check out this video on how to back up the device. I go in full details on how to back up using iTunes, iCloud, all that fun stuff. So once you're done with that, restoring your backup, you're good to go. It's a very quick fix. All you have to make sure is you have um, iTunes installed, or if you're using Mac, you need to make sure you're running uh, the latest OS and you should be good to go. I hope that was very helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.